Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and post questions for discussion. Check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Helen, a docent at the Art Museum. Today, I'll use an artwork from the collection for a quick history of Japanese anime and manga using a favorite theme, animals. We'll study the amazing animal story scroll from about 1700. Let's have some fun. The 23-foot-long hand scroll imagined members of Japanese imperial court as frogs and bush warblers engaged in a poetry contest. The artist is Ogawa Haritsu, who was known as a painter and a lacquerware maker. A hand scroll is a bit like a movie, telling a story as it moves from scene to scene. We'll look at various detailed scenes as the party progresses. The opening scene in the scroll is a bush warbler singing gaily in a plum tree. The choice of animals may refer to the first imperially commissioned collection of Japanese poetry assembled in the ninth century. It began with the introduction, how could they refrain from making poems when they listened to bush warblers in the blossoms and frogs in the water? In the next scene, we see the judge for the contest sitting at his desk. Two assistants are behind him, while three courtiers wait impatiently for the official's decision. Did we win this round of the competition? Now we see other contestants in two teams facing each other. The women are dressed in elaborate layers of colorful kimono, while the men are in more subdued robes with their black lacquer hats indicating status. When you look more closely, you can see the female bush warblers have fashionable long black hair. It seems everyone is relaxing after finishing their poems. The black objects in front of them are ink stones, not their cell phones. Next to that scene are more courtiers. Could they be gossiping about their fellow nobles composing poems? That's a favorite pastime at many gatherings, no matter the time or place. And tucked in a corner of the hand scroll, there are the servants, busily grinding ink and preparing paper for the high and mighty courtiers who won't do it for themselves. No one wants to get black ink on their fancy clothes, right? In a nearby courtyard, a group of frogs is relaxing. Four frogs are napping, one under a lotus leaf. The others seem to be enjoying sake as we see the traditional red lacquer cups. Our final scene is a noble in a bright red coat riding a fat frog and escorted by his servants. Someone always has to make an entrance and arrive late to the party. This was a favorite section of the hand scroll from my tour groups when it was displayed as part of the Masterpieces of Japanese Art exhibit. Using animals and birds to make fun of human activities began in Japan with the hand scroll Choju Jinbutsu Giga, created in the late 12th century. The title literally means animal caricatures. 500 years older than Cam's animal story scroll, it's considered the oldest work of manga. Here, monkeys and rabbits play in a river. It's also a long hand scroll with many scenes. To me, one of the funnier scenes is the monkey dressed as a priest, chanting before a frog poses the Buddha. Nearby, other animals look at the spectacle. A monkey has his hand partially over his face, as if to say, how ridiculous. Now we jump to modern times, over 800 years after Choju Jinbutsu Giga. Manga have evolved into film. Japanese anime continues to use animals to tell compelling stories. Released in 1994, Pompoko uses shape-shifting tanuki, or raccoon dogs, to tell a story of a fight against the environmental destruction of their forest. I hope you enjoyed learning about Japanese manga and anime using Cam's masterpiece, The Animal Story Scroll. Where have you seen animals used to make fun of human activities or tell stories of human foibles? What animal cartoons and films have you enjoyed? How are they animal caricatures? Have fun with your search. Thanks and take care.